Hey everybody. I don't generally do product reviews, but Wrestler Mania sent me a uh, link because I had made a complaint. My Grab and Go camera is a uh, is the GoPros. I have a couple of them, a five and a seven, and I'm getting ready to order, I think, the new nine. Uh, but anyway, my biggest complaint about the darn thing is the microphone that you use on them. This is the normal, I use Rode microphones. Rode microphones are, um, I won't say they're top quality, but for the price, they're right up there. Very affordable prices, and they, they, they seem to be very, very sturdy and legit. Here's what you get. Uh, and this fuzzy thing here is what cuts out a lot of the wind noise. Problem with me is, sometimes I take off, I don't take a camera. And then all of a sudden, I'll see something that I want to video, and all I have is my cell phone. And I'll use it. There's nothing wrong with using a cell phone, except you have the wind problem and things like that because this will hook to a cell phone if you buy the, the equipment you need to hook it up to the cell phone and i'm not talking about the plug the shoe that's just called the shoe it has to slide in and hook on you got to get that for yourself and i don't want to do all that i got enough equipment here i just need to uh, get into the habit and i, I kind of do i'm, I'm 75 percent there that when I go out the door to go anywhere, no matter where I'm going, I take my camera, I grab it. Because you never know what you're gonna run into. When you get one of these, here's what you end up getting. Let me take this off. You end up getting these four things. You end up getting, I'm trying to get it here so you can see it. The mic, bracket with the shoe, cord to plug it in, and the windsock. And that's what you, uh, you end up getting. This goes on your camera, and then this here will pop into the uh, into that. And as long as you get the right camera, this will plug in three point. Was it three point something millimeter? Blah blah. blah. That'll plug in your camera. Not all cameras will take this plug, so you have to make sure you got the right camera. And then uh, I usually go out like that. Problem is, this socket so it does a wonderful job. Keeps the wind noise out. Fantastic job. But with the GoPro being so small that, and you've seen in some of my shots, that if I don't take this cord and wrap it around my GoPro to pull, to actually pull the sock up like that, so I wrap this around the camera somewhere and pull it, and it pulls that sock up, keeps it out of the frame. And I have that problem sometimes, so I try to crop it out when I'm editing. Well, anyway, my biggest complaint about it was the it's only uh, it's very directional mic. If I've got pointed toward me and they're very sensitive, you can hear what I'm saying easily, including my breathing. You take a breath, and this mic here is kind of that way. Say, I just took a little breath, and you can hear it. Now, I got a gate on this machine over here where I can take that out, but I didn't want to do it on this video because that gets into a little bit of other problems, so I just didn't want to mess with it. But the breath is just part of the microphone experience. But when you go out and you're talking to somebody, like when WrestleMania and, and myself was out running around in the golf carts and we would stop and, and talk for a little while and, and then maybe we'd go to a restaurant and sit and talk. If I got the camera pointing toward him and the camera pointed toward him, we're fine. But if I'm talking behind it, you can't hardly hear me at all because the, I said, that's what I'm sick of. I said, you'd think that somebody would invent. I thought about a swivel, just a little swivel where you could turn the mic around real quick and turn around. And I'm sure there's probably something out there. I really haven't really looked for it all that much. He sent me a thing saying, hey, Movo, that's this uh, box right here. I just got it as a, a dual microphone set up. I don't know how this is going to work. I'm going to try it out. I don't know how the sound quality is on it. I'm going to try it out and I'll do, put it all in this video so you can kind of see what it is. And for those of you out there that's got these uh, uh, small cameras and you have the same problem I do with the microphones being directional because the microphone in the GoPros suck. They just do. And I have to constantly edit and uh, in editing the uh, audio to change the total audio quality in there because the microphones, they're bassy and they they're, they just aren't good. He sent me uh, a link to this and I bought it. They didn't send it to me, by the way. 
This is my money. I, I'm going to tell you what I think of it. So anyway, let's open a box. And let's see exactly what's in here because he might be interested also. He might be wanting to get one. In the box, you would get paperwork. Like anybody's going to read any of that, right? What's this other crap? More paperwork. Probably warranty that's no good. Nobody honors warranties anymore. And there's that paperwork. And here's the box. We don't need any of that. And then I got what? Is this a case that carried my microphone in? How do you get a microphone in here? What is this? Um, these are the two wind socks that, they, that you get with this one. And they're they're not much. They may work. I don't know. They're, but they're nothing like the road wind sock. Not even close. Let me open one so you can see it. That's it. This is the little wind sock right here. See this. So, anyway, like I say, they might work. Wind socks are, I know, I know a guy that uh, he had a, a very, very inexpensive lapel mic. Hey, look on here. And he wears it inside his motorhome, and it picks up all kinds of engine noise, dishes rattling around in the background. And um, I sent him an email, and I said, do you have any cotton balls inside your camper? He said, yeah, I think I do. I said, take one of them cotton balls and see, and just kind of scotch tape it or something over the microphone and see if that helps. Help 100%. Cheap, I know, but hey, it worked. So here's what comes in here. There's, here's the um, mounting bracket for the camera itself. Here is the microphone. Um, feels good. Metal. Probably shouldn't do that, but I just did. <coughs> it's marked front and rear. And oh, there's a little switch. Can you guys see? I'm gonna do it up. Yeah. Anyway, this camera here don't fo automatic focus. Um. Yeah. As a front and rear switch, I have two of them. That one goes front to rear, or you can do front and rear both at the same time. And then to the right, oh, that's the switch for if you have it plugged into your cell phone, or if you have it plugged into a um, regular, like a DSLR camera, like a Canon or something like that, a regular camera. So anyway, how this will work, is if you guys can see this. I have to hold this up for that camera to get it. Oh man, this is really tight. Need for it to be that tight. Good lord. I'll end up breaking it. There it goes. Anyway, that'll go in there like that. The thing I don't like is this plug doesn't come out. You notice on the um, road mic that I had, like here, plug comes out. So if it gets war, or I can just get another one, which actually I've got two or three of these. I could put a new one in there. This one here, for a period of time, I guarantee you this mic is going to, uh, it's going to fray right, right in there, right in here. Right where you see it. See you know that wiggle right there where it goes into the mic right here. That, uh, That'll end up tearing over a period of time. Wait a minute, let me see something here. I think I see something here. There's a hole. You know what? You know what? You know what? You guys can see it. You see? Well, I'm going to get it here where you can see it. Nice, darn it. Right? Right here. No? Where's that? Here. See that hole right there? I think I'm doing this backwards. I'm watching the screen here, so that's why I'm missing the hole. <laughs> that's what she said. I plugged in right there. I wonder if I, I'm gonna test that out too. So, I'll get this hooked up to my camera. I'll give it an audio test. I'll get it all hooked up. I'll bring it back. I'll show you what it looks like. 
and um, you'll be able to hear it just like I'm going to hear it. So I think I'm about done with this. Let me get the camera. I have to use my other camera. I can't use this one. Okay, we are testing the audio on the new mic. I have the butt set at front and rear both at the same time. Front and rear both at the same time and see how it sounds. It is now set for the front of the mic. The front of the mic. And we see how it sounds. I now have it set for the rear of the mic. I have it set for the rear of the mic. And we see how it sounds. Thank you.